everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing this soft glam all affordable drugstore makeup look. If you guys like these drugstore makeup looks, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching. I got my coffee. Let me know in the comments what you're drinking today. I'm gonna to clip this hair back and we're gonna get started. Well, the first thing that we're gonna start with are the eyes. And I'm gonna go ahead and just take a concealer and use this as eyeshadow primer. And I'm gonna take a little bit of powder just on a puff and I'm going to set that primer because we want our eyeshadows to blend smoothly on our lid. With no skipping. For eyeshadows, I'm going to be going in with the ColourPop Island Vacay Palette. Such a gorgeous palette. Look at all of these neutral golden brown shades. These are like my favorite kind of colors to use. I'm going to go in with this mid-tone shade right here. This is called Sunrays and I'm going in with a big fluffy brush. I'm going to be taking this shade right in my inner corner. So if you were to look straight ahead in a mirror, wherever your eye folds, this area right here, this is considered your crease. You also want to pay attention to how, how you're holding your brush. You don't want to hold it like this, like you would a pen. You don't want to hold it too far back. So hold it right there in the middle, light pressure. You don't have to scrub or blend too hard. It's very light pressure, slowly building up that color. I also like to elongate my eye. So I like to blend this color out like this out into like my brow bone. And then when you're doing your eyeshadow, I recommend also looking up close, like when you're applying the eyeshadow, but then also taking the mirror and looking afar. That way you can see if both eyes are matching. And then if they're not, then you can kind of even the out. I'm going to take a smaller, this is a little bit denser, but still somewhat fluffy brush. And I'm going to go in with this darker shade called Tropical Vibes. Focus this color right here on my outer corner, keeping it nice and tight in this area right here. I like to deposit the color first. Once I have the color deposited like that, then I'm just going to blend the edges out. That way there are no harsh lines. And then this is as about dark as I'm gonna go in with that first brush that we use and now I'm just going to blend the edges of all of those colors that way everything is blended out well we don't want any harsh lines as Jaclyn Hill once said when you think you're done blending just keep blending I, at least I'm, I'm pretty sure that was her that said that I could be wrong <laughs> maybe it was me that said that head and take my finger for this and I'm going to mix these two shimmery shades right here you can use a brush I find that they work better with your finger it's gonna tap off the excess product this color right here is going to go into this empty lid space right here so i'm just going to press you guys see how pretty that shimmer is and then with that original blending brush you're just going to buff the edges out just keep buffing i like the way this is looking so far i like the soft glam look so for right now we're gonna leave the eyes alone and then we'll come back to them now we're gonna move on to the face now would be a good point that if you had a lot of eyeshadow fallout, go ahead and take a makeup wipe, a Q-tip with some makeup remover, and you could clean up the under eye. My fallout is honestly not super bad at all, so I'm just gonna leave it. For a primer, I am a huge fan of double priming. I feel like it meets both of my skin's needs, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to first start off with priming using my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which I need another one because I love this stuff. This is a really great primer. If you have larger pores, this is really going to help to smooth and those pores to make your skin really smooth and then the foundation and all the makeup will not settle into your pores and on top of that i go in with the elf poreless grip primer with niacinamide this is going to give my face a tacky base for the foundation to really adhere to also the birds are chirping outside the sun is finally out it gave me seriously so happy because the weather here this week has been so gloomy and cloudy and rainy so i'm here for this kind of weather for foundation i'm going to be going in with an oldie but a goodie. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Foundation and I am in the shade Golden Beige. This is what the applicator looks like. So you can work right off of here. I'm just going to grab it with my finger and I'm going to add it onto my skin. I personally like to use my finger first to distribute the foundation. I see the coverage of this foundation. It's so good. And then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Airbrush Blender Brush and I'm going to just push this into my skin. Foundation might be a little, little too golden for me, but We'll make it work. I'm going to bring it down our neck. You can also bring it over your ears if you want to too. That way nothing looks like it doesn't match you. For bronzer, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. If there's a concealer that you like to use, go ahead and get it like in your shade that you like to bronze with. It's just going to add some dimension back to the skin. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush and I'm just going to press that into my skin. This is just going to add some shape back and kind of make my forehead a little bit smaller. Once this is all blended out, it might look a little 
little harsh right now, especially here on the nose. But then we're gonna do concealer and it's gonna, everything is gonna come together. Concealer, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. I'm gonna put some on the inner, outer corner of my eyes. Put some on the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my chin. And this is just gonna even everything out because I do want my under eyes to be a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is a pink concealer and this is just going to brighten the under eyes a little bit. I'm gonna let this concealer sit for about 30 seconds to a minute. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my beauty sponge and blend everything out. So I have my handheld mirror right here. Look up into my mirror and blend this all out. This is gonna help make sure I'm like getting right up to my lash line. When you're blending out your concealer, you really wanna make sure you're pushing and pressing. You don't wanna swipe because you're just gonna really be moving around the makeup and even taking some off and we do not want that. I'm using a damp beauty blender. I ran it underwater and then squeezed out any excess water with a towel. So you see how like everything is blended out but you see, like see the harsh lines still. So now I'm gonna take the bottom of our beauty sponge and i'm just going to lightly tap over those areas to make sure all the lines and everything are diffused by doing this this is also going to help pick up any like excess foundation concealer where everything just looks like skin everything is really coming together i'm loving the way it's turning out so far so now we are going to do a little bit of cream blush love the elf putty blushes this is the shade of bora bora i take this with the elf complexion duo brush and i'm going to focus this higher on my cheekbones because this is going to give a nice little lift i also like to put a little bit of blush just on the bridge of my nose i really feel like it just ties everything together now i'm gonna go ahead and set the under eyes with some powder before i do that i have my setting powder ready right here in the lid i also have my powder puff ready to go i get these off of amazon they're super affordable i'm gonna take my beauty sponge i'm gonna look up into my mirror one more time to blend out any creasing that may have happened in those few minutes take some of my powder i'm gonna take off the excess on the back of my hand look back up into my mirror set it with powder puff i'm also going to take some of this powder on the sides of my nose because i do have more oily skin to so get oily throughout the day on my forehead my nose and like the tops of my cheeks right here so i'm going to take a bigger brush i'm going to take whatever's left on the back of my hand and a little bit of what's left in the lid i'm just going to tap this across my jawline i love going in with creams first then powders because you are just locking in that color your makeup is just gonna last so much longer the blush the bronzer everything go in with my elf forever sunkiss bronzer I'm just going to lightly tap that wherever i put that cream bronzer along the sides of my forehead my cheekbones and then a little bit across my nose and then for blush i'm going to go in with my elf always cheeky matte blush this is a really pretty just like muted color and i'm just going to tap that exactly where i put that cream blush at now i'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows to fill them in with my nyx micro a brow pencil in the shade brunette and then i'm going to set them with the nyx brow glue brows are done i feel like when i do my brows like everything just really comes together so now let's do a little bit of highlight i'm going to be using the essence pure nude highlighter i love this one it's very similar to the super high-end hourglass one that just leaves a very glowing from within type of look on your cheekbones i just like to lightly brush it across like my forehead and then with my finger i'll just take a little bit of this and press it onto my brow bone i feel like it just leaves the most subtle prettiest highlights now we're going back to the eyes and i think i'm going to apply some lashes these kiss lashes from the muses collection super pretty they are called nobles i'm going to use this lash glue liner that i picked up from dollar general i've tried this brand before and i really liked it this is by the brand ioni it is latex free 100 vegan if you have trouble applying lashes highly recommend that you try a lash glue liner I'm trying not to be all beast like when i open this up i'm gonna trim the edges of them a little bit that way they fit my eye a little bit better and then you're gonna draw your liner on like normal by right on and they stick on literally like nothing all right the lashes are on and now i'm gonna go ahead and take this mascara from elf this is the lash and roll and now i'm just going to lightly coat my lashes underneath that way they mesh with the 
false lashes. My eye. Ah, oh, don't water. I'm gonna go back in with this mid-tone brown shade right here. I'm gonna run this under my lash line just to bring the whole eye look together. Finish off with some mascara on the bottom lashes. I actually think I'm gonna do a little bit of an inner corner highlight just to really make the eyes pop. So I'm gonna go in with that gold shade from the ColourPop palette. Pop that on the inner corner. Let's move on to lips. I'm gonna go in with my NYX lip liner in nude pink. Go in with the e.l.f. Stay All Day Blue Light Setting Mist. And I actually realized I might wanna do a little bit of a glossy lip. I'm gonna use one of the best affordable glosses that you can get your hands on. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. I'm just gonna apply this in the center of my lips. This kind of gives it like that outy. Man, it is coming down. Whoa! It is hailing so big right now. And then I'm gonna add one more thing on the eyes. You could honestly leave the eyes like as is. I think it looks super pretty. I'm gonna actually apply this e.l.f. liquid shadow. I'm gonna take the applicator, take some on my ring finger like this, a tiny bit of it, and I'm just going to lightly pat this on. And this is just gonna add a tiny bit more shimmer on the eyes. And that's how the eyes are looking. I absolutely love the way this whole drugstore affordable makeup turned out. And I hope this goes to show that you really do not have to break the bank to like get a flawless, full glam kind of makeup look. I'll have everything listed in the description box below. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe that way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.